dear students welcome to this lecture on aseptic packaging production of aseptic packaging of processed food products such as tropical pulps juices concentrates has increased significantly during the past decades in our country aseptic packaging has several advantages such as bulk packaging of fruit pulps and concentrates lower packaging cost lower transportation cost less labor incentive with high throughputs many of the tropical fruit pulps and concentrates from mango guava papaya banana grape pineapple and orange are packed using aseptic packaging aseptic process was initiated by ball in 1927 as a heat cool fill process at american can research department the container and the product were sterilized separately and the product was filled under aseptic conditions and sealed Dole aseptic system was the first commercially successful aseptic canning system. Bag in, bag in box so concept was introduced for aseptically packed dairy products in 1960 which was followed by bag in box containers in large sizes for aseptically filled acid products. Aseptic means absence of microorganisms including viable spores aseptic system refers to the complete system required to the produce a commercially sterile product in a hermetically sealed container includes processing system filling and packaging aseptic packaging strategies involve use of filling commercially sterile product in sterile containers in aseptic conditions and sealing hermetically objective of this lecture is that to understand the importance of aseptic packaging of foods to learn about various aseptic packaging systems and packaging materials used in aseptic packaging to identify various methods adopted in sterilization of packaging material let us first look at the different aseptic packaging systems the first aseptic packaging system we are going to discuss is dole aseptic canning system Since 1960s the Dole aseptic canning system was used in various aseptic processing and packaging applications more than 60 systems are located all over the world primarily for low acid food such as purees spreads and sauces currently there are almost 40 dole canners functioning the only system available to pack aseptically processed products into container cans is dole The system was designed such that aseptically processed foods are filled into cans at a speed of 450 cans per minute. Superheated steam under positive pressure was used to maintain sterility in the filling chamber and the same was used to sterilize the can bodies and covers. Aluminum and two or three piece steel are commonly used material for manufacture of smaller and larger cans respectively. The cans are coated with heat resistant material and lids with a high temperature plastisol sealant to endure the heat processing. The Dole aseptic packaging structure consists of four fundamental units. The can sterilizing unit, the filling unit, the lid sterilizing unit and the sealing section. Now, let's see about these four fundamental units one by one. The first unit is hand sterilizing unit. The unit consists of stainless steel double insulated tunnel. The heat required for sterilization is achieved by introducing superheated steam maintained at a temperature of 260 degrees Celsius into the tunnels. The cans are passed through the tunnels which are held in the can sterilization unit for around 45 seconds till the container attains 224 degrees Celsius. This temperature is maintained to destroy the heat resistant bacteria the second fundamental unit is filling unit the hot sterile container temperature is reduced by introducing jet of cold sterile water the aseptically processed product is filled into the cans usually by specially designed slit fillers the cans pass below a slit opening in a tube type filler generally the size depends on the factors such as product type and filling speed the slit filler consists of stainless steel pipe to facilitate slit along the lower side the pipe contains an inner pipe with multiple parts and helps in constant flow to the filling system 
the inner and outer pipes are arranged in such a way so as to maintain around 12 mm space between them. The inner pipe receives this sterilized product. The next fundamental unit is lid sterilizer. Can covers or lids are completely subjected to superheated steam for about 80 seconds. These sterilized covers are then loaded into the unit. The lids are sterile at the discharge and conveyed into the closing machine. In a dole canner, the lids are made up of either aluminium or steel. The sterilization time for aluminium lids are 20% lesser when compared to the other lids. The last fundamental unit is dole aseptic packaging structure is sealer. The aseptically filled cans are seamed using standard sealing machinery. To maintain the sterility, the area is enclosed with superheated steam followed with to maintain the sterility, the area is enclosed with superheated steam followed with seaming of the pre-sterilized containers. The superheated steam maintains the equipment and surrounding area completely sterile. The sterile container, lid and aseptically processed product enter the seaming unit. The superheated steam maintains positive pressure inside the can seamer which sustains sterile environment. The next type of aseptic packaging system is aseptic bag in box. Sholay's aseptic filler is the most commonly used system for the flexible packaging. The filling unit and preformed package are the pre-sterilized before filling the product. The equipment is sterilized using steam, hot water and chlorine and the package with gamma radiation. The fillers are maintained at high temperature for 30 minutes for pre-sterilization. The bags are made up of various polymers and fitted with a fitment and cap. The fitment and cap are re-sterilized with steam once it reaches the filling chamber. The caps are removed and sterile product is volumetrically filled into bags by a flow meter. Nitrogen gas is flushed and cap is replaced and the back is expelled from the filling zone. The aseptically processed product is reduced from a processing temperature of 138 to 30 degrees Celsius forward to filling. The fillers are pre-sterilized with steam or steam in combination with chlorine. Gamma reactions are used to pre-sterilize preformed bags. Now we will see about the next type of aseptic packaging system, aseptic paperboard fillers. In this packaging system, the packaging material is subjected to treatment of 35% of hydrogen peroxide at 55 degrees Celsius prior to filling and forming. To ensure sterile packaging material for sterile product, the hydrogen peroxide treated material is air dried. The other type of packaging system is aseptic plastic cups. Fillers used are generally form fill seal to produce cups. Polypropylene material is commonly used to form cups. Combinations of polystyrene, polypropylene and PET with ethylene vinyl alcohol are also used. Form fill sealers sterilize the cups with hydrogen peroxide or neutral aseptic systems. The neutral aseptic system performs sterilization of the material during the co-extrusion process. The material is separated and the inner sterile layers form cups and lids. Aseptic pouches. Form fill sealing machine is commonly used aseptic pouch fillers for pouch formation. Generally, the aseptic pouch materials are treated with form 35% hydrogen peroxide and further dried in hot air for sterilization. Aseptic plastic bottle fillers. Packaging materials such as polypropylene, high density polyethylene or PET are commonly used for plastic bottle manufacturers. The plastic bottles are treated with 35% warm hydrogen peroxide or various concentrations of acetic acid to maintain sterility of the bottles prior to filling. Different types of aseptic package forms used in aseptic UHT processing. They are cans, paper boards, flexible pouches, thermoformed plastic containers, flow molded containers, bag in box, bulk totes, sterilization of the packaging material. 
Packaging material sterilization is a major step in aseptic packaging. Generally, there are three main methods of sterilizing packaging materials. They are irradiation, heat and chemical treatments. We will discuss about these sterilization methods one by one. First method is irradiation. Packaging material is generally sterilized by gamma radiations. Preformed pouches, aseptic bags are treated in irradiators. A dose of 1.5 mega rad is used for sterilization of aseptic bags. Hydrogen peroxide is used for sterilizing the polyethylene contact surfaces of the packaging material. The residual hydrogen should not be more than 0.5 ppm. In irradiation, let us first look about ionizing radiation. This technique is used for those packaging material which cannot withstand higher temperatures required for thermal sterilization or for those material which are inconvenient for sterilization due to their packaging design such as shape. Radiation technique uses gamma rays from cobalt 60 or cesium 137 in order to sterilize inner portion of empty containers before filling. A packaging material is subjected to a radiation dosage level of 25 kg to attain sterility. Prior to the irradiation treatment, the packages are sealed into a microbiologically safe containers. Pulse light is also used for sterilizing the packaging material. This technology uses intense short duration pulses of broad spectrum to sterilize aseptic packaging material. The packaging material is exposed to the pulses for duration of 1 microsecond to 0.1 second applied at the rate of 1 to 20 flashes per second. Pulse light technology is not yet commercialized. UV radiation is also best method for sterilizing the packaging materials. This is the most effective method of microbial destruction. Generally the wavelength for the destruction is between 248 nanometer and 280 nanometer where 253.7 nanometer is found to be the optimum. UV radiation is used in combination with hydrogen peroxide for more effective treatment. Heat is the economical way of sterilizing the packaging material. This process involves either steam or dry heat for treatment. Dry heat means hot or with negligible water molecules. Steam is considered to be more effective than dry heat which is maintained at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. The sterilization effect depends on the factors such as time of exposure and treatment temperature. Saturated steam is mostly used a heat source. Steam under pressure is found to be the most reliable sterilant used to sterilize plastic containers. Steam is maintained under pressure with the help of pressure chamber to maintain sufficient temperature to achieve sterilization. To prevent the interference with transfer of heat from steam to the package surface, air entering to the pressure chamber with the packaging material must be negligible. Condensate developed due to condensation of steam during heating the package should be removed. If condensate is not removed, then it could be remain in the container and dilute to the product. Superheated steam is also a heat medium for sterilization. This medium was used in Martin Dole aseptic canning process in 1950s for tin plate and aluminum cans and lid sterilization. The cans are subjected to saturated steam at normal pressure at 220 degrees Celsius to 228 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 seconds. The time and temperature exposure pertains to type of packaging material. Aluminium cans have comparatively shorter heating time due to their higher thermal conductivity. Other heat medium for sterilization is hot air. Usually hot air at a temperature of 315 degrees Celsius is used to sterilize packaging materials such as paperboard, laminate, cottons. For acidic products with pH less than 4.5, the hot air is exposed to the package at 145 degrees Celsius for 180 seconds. Hot air with steam will give effective sterilization effect on packaging materials. To sterilize inner surface of cups and lids made up of polypropylene, combination of hot air and steam is used. Hot air is blown into the material with the help of nozzles so that the base and walls of the cups are heated uniformly. The extrusion process achieves 3 to 4 decimal detections in microbial spores. 
Therefore, extruded containers are suitable for aseptic filling of acidic products with pH lesser than 4.5. For products pH greater than 4.5, the extruded containers are subjected to post sterilization with hydrogen peroxide or per acetic acid. Prior to blow molding of plastic containers, a temperature around the range of 180 to 230 degrees Celsius is maintained for 3 minutes. The next method of sterilizing packaging material is by chemical treatments. We will see about chemical treatment by hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a clear, slightly viscous oxidizing agent that is commonly used as a sterilant for most packaging materials. Hydrogen peroxide is used in concentrations of 30 to 35 percent followed by hot air to sterilize the surface of the packaged material. Hot air temperature is maintained within the range of 60 to 125 degrees Celsius. Various techniques are used for application of hydrogen peroxide to the packaging material. They are dipping, spraying, rinsing. In dipping technique, the packaging material is subjected to a dip in a tank of 30 to 33 percent of hydrogen peroxide solution. A wetting agent is used for uniform wetting of the surface. Once the wetting process is complete, the liquid film is subjected to the cotter for drying. In spraying technique, hydrogen peroxide is sprayed through nozzles into the package. The sprayed packaging material is then dried using hot air. The hot air temperature and the drying time is dependent on the volume of the chemical sprayed. Currently, spraying process is replaced with use of hot air and vaporized peroxide. When the packaging container of complex shape is inappropriate for spraying, rinsing process is adopted. Rinsing process is performed with peroxide or mixture of peroxide and peroastic acid. This technique is used for sterilization of glass containers, metal cans and blow molded plastic bottles. The other type of chemical treatment is peroastic acid. The peroastic acid is colorless liquid organic compound and highly corrosive. It is a liquid sterilant which is effective against pores. It is available in solution with acetic acid and hydrogen peroxide to maintain its stability. The major advantage of per acetic acid is compared to the hydrogen peroxide is that it can be used at lower temperatures. Therefore, makes its use of beneficial for packaging materials such as LDPE, PET and those materials which have minimum heat distortion temperatures. Peroastic acid is also used for rinsing or spraying aseptic bottles. It does not require any secondary sterile water rinse after treatment. Let us now discuss with aseptic tetra pack and working of tetra brick form fill seal. Certain types of packaging materials such as cottons made from paper laminate, polyethylene, aluminum foil cannot be sterilized by heat alone. These packaging materials are generally used for aseptic packaging of milk and fruit juices. Therefore, for these packaging materials, sterilization is performed with a combination of heat and chemical. Various chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide, peroastic acid and ethylene oxide in combination with ionizing radiation, ultraviolet radiation and sterilized air are, used, are being used. For heat resistant spore forming microorganisms, a chemical treatment with 35% concentration hydrogen peroxide at 90 degrees Celsius was found to be most effective. Tetra prick system which is an example of form fill seal systems are widely used throughout. In this system, the roll stock film is unfound from the reel and a plastic strip is enclosed to one edge which will eventually overlap the inner longitudinal seal in the cotton. It is then conveyed through a bath of hot hydrogen peroxide for sterilization. The wetted laminate is then passed through a set of rollers that removes the liquid hydrogen peroxide. The squeezed sterilant is then regenerated back to the bath for further use. To remove residual hydrogen peroxide, hot sterile air is forced to two sides of the laminate. The sterilized laminate is now formed into a tube with a longitudinal seal in a closed section maintaining a sterile environment by hot sterile air under pressure. At the center of the laminate tube, the product filling tube is located. The sterile product is filled into the laminate and hermetically sealed. 
aseptic thermoformable containers is also one type of the aseptic packaging few systems employ a laminate in the form of cotton blanks which are erected the laminates are sterilized by a downward spray of hydrogen peroxide continued by a passage of hot sterile air this ensues complete sterilization and removal of residual hydrogen peroxide the cottons are filled with pre sterilized product and then sealed similar systems are employed to aseptically fill pre formed plastic cups both the lidding material and the laminates are sterilized completely the laminate is then made to thermoformable cups and filled with pre sterilized product the whole process takes place in a sterile zone generally thermoforming is used to fill small containers that is for individual portions of milk cream and whiteners let us now discuss about some points about aseptic pulp packaging in 1970s the aseptic packaging technology was commercially operating throughout the food processing facilities this technology was commonly used for aseptic cans and pouches or preformed bags and was later extended towards bulk packaging technique prior to the shole aseptic fill up all the products were aseptically filled into very expensive 55 gallon metal drums now every unit of aseptic drum fillers has been replaced by aseptic flexible packaging aseptic bulk container is an advancement of an back in box aseptic packages the development of uh, reusable aseptic containers made up of 304 or 316 stainless steel used for storing high acid products these type of aseptic bulk containers are named as a aseptic tote basically the container sizes are range from 200 to 300 gallons this system has a number of merits such as easy sterilization with steam since it is made up of stainless steel single time expense for packaging can remove partial product from the container maintaining the remaining product sterile nitrogen flushing can be also performed if required ability to stack product one above the other and clean in place before summarizing this section on aseptic packaging we'll look at few points about aseptic packaging of mango pulp mangoes of mature ripe or selected and the fruits are washed cut and pulp extracted the extracted pulp is preheated deaerated and passed through a aseptic system consisting of a sterilizer holding cooling chilling and filling sections the sterilization and holding time for pulp is set for optimum sterilization the pulp is heated at the set temperature and it is held at the temperature for a specified period of the time in the holding section the sterilized pulp is cooled by passing through a heat exchanger cooled by a chilled glycol the chilled pulp is filled into aseptic bags around 200 kg kept in a metal drums A sample aseptic bag of 5 kg is removed at regular intervals and tested for microbial count and sterility of the product. The filled bag in drums are sealed with adequate cushioning and kept on pallets for dispatch and for the further transport. Each pallet holds 4 drums and transported by a forklift. Let us summarize the points so far discussed in the given lecture. To have a successful aseptic packaging technology the sterile product should be filled in a sterile container maintaining a sterile environment and sealed hermetically this technology sterilizes food and beverages with the least amount of thermal stress on a product and therefore nutrients natural flavors colors and textures are maintained while sterility is ensured this process helps to extend shelf life of the product at normal temperatures by aseptic packaging we also need to know about the various packaging materials that are suitable for aseptic processing and packaging in order to achieve a successful aseptic technology we have to understand the different types of equipments and aseptic bulk storage systems to apply the aseptic technology in various food product applications thank you